Hello everyone, today I'm playing Relic Space. It's an early access game, it just came out today. We're basically, we're, we're in control of a spaceship and we're flying around through the galaxy doing missions for our faction. And as we progress doing missions, we can find relics and just basically help our faction grow and eventually take over the galaxy. There's other competing factions I think we can do missions for them, but really we're sh we should be working for our own faction. But let's just get ahead and let's just go ahead and jump into the game. We called it the fall. A trillion lives destroyed in an instant. What was left were the relic belts. The remains of our planets scattered around the collapsed sun. Our task now to recover and rebuild what was lost. So our civilization has Back. collapsed. And we'll be going out and finding those relics. So there's different factions, but for now, I guess you can only be the order. So the order are composed of genetically engineered AI enhanced super soldiers. So we're an elite military. And so I guess it affects some of the, is it always capitalized? Yeah, looks like it. It's like this probably affects what kind of equipment you can get from your own space stations. Uh, what you can change is your background. So the space cadet gets benefits to precision attack and a weapon boost. You always get repair equipment and extinguish fire. So the flyboy is your evasion and speed we're, we're going to be the techie you get you, you can get like a, a boost to your shields and heat dump your, our weapons will produce heat and this helps cool them down so yeah i can't really do much here you can customize and change all the fate the face and details of your character that's good enough we'll do tactical which is like medium difficulty and i'll skip the tutorial Okay, so the first mission is that, so we have to apprehend, <clears throat> excuse me, apprehend a suspect. So this is us right here, and there's a suspect. So how this game works is, if you're going in a straight line, there's no extra energy usage. And every turn, your generator will give you back energy. But if I'm doing a bunch of turns, and every time I move, I can also shoot. So I could lose all of my energy if I'm doing a lot of turns and shooting my lasers every time. But if I go in a straight line, I can actually regenerate my energy, unless I'm still shooting people. So our weapons are automatic. It'll just automatically shoot at the target every time we move, if we're in range. You can switch it to manual though. So I'll just uh, move in once. To communicate with this guy, you just click the box down here. Okay, so they're not responding. He's not responding to comms. We'll have to use force to bring him under control. Understood. And I can just press the space bar and it'll shoot, or you can move and it'll shoot. Okay, this is Omega. You're suspected of resource appropriation and must hand over control of your vessel. Okay, so they're going to follow us back. Oh, so I, I can't really turn around. There we go. Okay, what's what happened is that this guy smuggled in some explosives and he's blown up the station. But there's over 200 civilians, so we're going to have to engage the ship and then go out and get help for these guys. So my energy is okay, I'll just...
So his shields are gone. And I can turn around now. And my shields are getting low, but I have a boost right here. I think it's four. And there's things like debris and meter uh, asteroids that can provide cover. You can stay in, stay in place and just press your space bar to, to shoot. It's pretty much an easy battle, so we'll just take them out. Good work, but there's much more to do and we need to act fast. The station had over 200 people on board. I'll begin a search for the wreckage, search of the wreckage for survivors. So we'll go meet Commander Devos. Oh, and so we can right click to scan. Okay, so we found some water in the wreckage. Now we can just, uh, the system map is up here. It wants us to go there. There's a lot of potential with this game. You can also do some mining on some of the asteroids. Uh, but it'd be cool if we can, we can build our own space stations eventually. That, that'd be awesome. I don't think any of that's implemented yet. So we're just stuck here, and it's always a good idea to refuel. It just cost us four credits. And let's talk to Commander Devos. Okay, so we get reputation, some credits, and experience. Okay, thank you for seeing me. We all deeply regret the loss of Icarus Station and those who lived and worked there. I hope you'll be relieved to know that emergency vessels have already been dispatched to search for survivors. Okay, so they're trying to figure out why the attack happened. For the sake of our own survival, we must assume the worst and treat this as an act of war. We must defend at all costs the fragile successes of our order in rebuilding civilization after the devastation of the fall. So I'm ready to help. It's gonna take time to analyze this, but there's a mission for us. Speak to the mission directors on this and other stations to find out missions are currently most urgent. So that's like a big mission he's given us. We'll talk to this guy. Okay, so basically there's some enemies in the sector. He wants us to go and deal with them. And I'll just... So later on you can trade and... Like the up arrow means that they produce it there. So the carbon here is going to be super cheap. Whereas... The down arrow means they could really use water. And we've got water here, so we'll get a great price for it. And so the trade is actually uh, quite lucrative in this game. Uh, I just have... So our ship is... The starting ship is really small, and I just have one weapon. I've tried the cannons before. That's 70 to hit... Yeah, the cannons caused my weapon to produce a ton of heat. So it's armor penetration and... Yeah, it's a lot of heat for a small cannon, but it's basically the same, same damage. I'm going to go for the s small laser though. And then we go to the ship, or F2, and then just click it. And now both of our weapon slots are full. Okay, so they're just out here. So I think it's just like uh, shift, left click to target the, the one you want.
Oh, they hammered our shields there. So I'll press four, we'll get a boost. Okay, we got him. Yeah, so you can use these obstacles to your advantage in the future. That's just debris. It's going to take me a while to kind of get used to it. So their shields are gone now. We're just blasting through the hole. I'm pretty safe. I'm just going to kind of sit here and take him out. And there's some debris here. We can, some wreckage. Uh, nine, nine credits. That's okay. So I'll just head back over here and we'll turn in that mission. Well, I guess we already got the money. Okay, now here's the guy. So he wants us to go to the Lorca Center. So we're right here, and we'll go there. And our thing's flashing, so I guess because we're a techie, we get an engineer point first. I kind of like the, there's a passive shield focus one. So for each incoming attack, shields have 50% chance of taking one point less damage. And this is just going to make our current abilities a little bit stronger. So I'll go for the shield passive. So I think we, so those exclamation points mean, well, how do I scroll? They just mean that they have missions. Oop. Avoid flyer, we can just av avoid him. What's that? Okay, let's talk here and we'll talk to Emma. Welcome, we've been expecting you. How much do you know about our research here? You want to know the ca what caused the fall? That's right. We are engaged in an ongoing project to recover and analyze relics of pre-fall technology for traces of the cata catastrophe. Deciphering the nature of the fall is vital. If, if we are to understand... <clears throat> Our true purposes in this new dark age. Can I rely on you to help with this critical task? Sure. Okay. Scans indicate unusual concentrations of rare metals in a large asteroid nearby. Analysis of the asteroid's trajectory suggests it may be a fragment of a former inhabited moon and may provide a critical clue to help us find, help us understand the fall. Can you help us explore the asteroid? Sure, we can immediately. Okay, so let's go in and do that mission. Oh, where's the... I thought there would be like a marker for us. Okay, here's an ambush. So the threat assessment is acceptable. Yeah, I don't see where... Maybe it's up here. I'm just going to avoid these guys. Wow, did I... Did I take him out? Okay, we got seven credits. I think these guys will just keep uh, spawning, so... So I'll boost up those shields. I think this is the one. No, that's just one for mining. 
Yeah, we're just doing some mining while we're being attacked. Okay, if the truck, it's the beacon. Uh, it's telling us to go over here to the right. Just going to boost the shields again and just try to avoid these guys. My hull is okay. But it's not always safe to just run. Uh, they can they can really get you sometimes. Okay, so my heat is generating because I've got my weapons automatic. So if you're running away, it might be good to put them to manual. And then I'm not going to be overheating. Maybe we have to go all the way over there. The maps are, or the galaxy is procedurally generated, so it's different all the time. I think it's F7. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of sectors here. I could see in the future this could get a lot bigger too. But I'm not sure what the plans are exactly. Okay, what's the problem now? Oh, I'm running a fuel. Oh, you just want me to just tell me that my weapons haven't been fired. I wonder if I can go in here and get fuel or anything. No. Okay, we got emergency refueling. Yeah, so I guess what, I'm, what I was doing there is all those turns and everything. It really used up a lot of my fuel. So I'm just right clicking that and we've added the fragment to our cargo hold. So I should be able to, if I click on that, you can, you can get missions from these weapons platforms. Oh, so you can get fuel there as well. I think I'm fine for now. Uh, maybe I should get some fuel actually. So I don't know if that, I guess that probably is very expensive. We'll dock here and we'll, yeah, we got a lot of fuel for seven credits there. Okay, you should obtain 0.1 tons of the resource in whatever way you see fit. Oh, iron, okay. Yeah, I'll accept that. So I'll put back my weapons back on automatic. Oh, these guys are helping me out. It's really cool. Oh, ambushed again. Yeah, I just want to kind of skip. Skip these guys. It's because I want to get some money and get that second ship. The first upgrade. But yeah, uh, fleets of ships will eventually invade and attack space stations and stuff. And we just got to go around and get these relics and help out our faction so they can level up. Get stronger. Okay, this is good. We're finally done that. Okay, many thanks for your assistance in recovering the relic. We... We'll likely be in touch again after we've made some progress with the research. In the meantime, Commander Devos has sent word that you are needed back in Trico Center sector. Okay, so here we can look at the ships. Only have 45 credits? So the sulfur, uh, it's super cheap here. So I have to go and find some iron. 
but the shipyard, we have a wasp right now. So the next upgrade, we'll get 20 more hit points and two more armor, but more fuel and we can, we have another utility slot. I don't know how big the ships get. I've only gotten to the Firehawk. Okay, so you see a little bit like they get at least a little bit bigger, but that's going to be very expensive. So we can just head back to, do I have enough fuel? To Trico. And we got some credits. I think I lost a lot of money with that emergency fuel. I've been pleased to hear reports of your recent successes. Regarding our strategy for dealing with the new union threat, the leadership team here has agreed that we should reach out to as many potential allies as possible. A nearby sector has a major research station belonging to the circle. Do you need a brief, brief a quick briefing on them? Nope. Travel to the research station nearby and make contact with a circle leader there named Kahlo Salk. Inform them of our situation with the Union and persuade them to meet to discuss a formal defensive pact. Okay, I'll head there immediately. Yeah, so I guess we don't have enough credits for anything, so we'll just head over there. So I guess it's over. Oh, I could get iron first. Let's see if they sell iron. Uh, it's medium. I'm not sure. They just need the one guy needed like 0.1 tons. Okay, I think I got a medium price for that. Only 13 credits. Yeah, it's on the way practically. So let's just go this direction. Oh, there's a lot of guys here, a lot of bad guys. Okay, his shields are gone already, so we'll do a weapon boost, power shot. Yeah, so our faction has new research. They've completed research on the graviton field theory. So gra gravitic boosters are now available at some order stations. So I think it's because of that of that relic we got. Okay, so we got that guy and we got three nickel. Yeah, there's just so many bad guys here. I'm going to do a boost to my shields. That's four. Ooh, and they launched a missile. Okay, I'll just quickly dock, refuel, and then I guess they... They got the iron from us, iron from us too. So that's good. We could afford another ship. But I guess they don't uh, sell anything there. So I could go down here. Okay, we're gonna refuel and everything, and then we'll grab that Firehawk. Is that a little bit better? 
And when we purchase it, all of our equipment will be transferred. Oh, I don't have enough credits. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Had some iron left. So, yeah, I'll go for the Firehawk. So, I guess the 50 is your uh, reputation or, or fame. It will unlock and then we'll board the ship and transfer all equipment. Okay, that's good. And then let's jump to that mission. So yeah, the game, has, it's kind of basic in a lot of ways, but I, I just feel like there's, it's kind of, it's a little bit unique in the way the tactical uh, combat is. And uh, I can't wait to see the galaxy become more alive and have more things to do. I think it could be a really fun game. So we'll dock there and talk to Kalo. Okay, what is your purpose here? Explain the recent Union attacks and suggest the need for a defensive pact. We will consider this information. In the meantime, we face an issue of our own. Perhaps you can assist us. What is the nature of it? Our relations with our neighbors, the Naveen, have deteriorated of late. Their Korean vessels have blocked access to resource-rich asteroids in this sector and have at times engaged in aggressive behavior. What can I do? Talk to the Naveen Chieftain. <clears throat> the intervention of a third party may help improve relations. Okay, I'll go do that. Okay, so we'll just head off over here. So it's these things. Like, this guy's okay. He's a Kreen. But we've got to watch out for the rogue ones. Yeah, and so here's some events. So, so this is our faction event. Relic acquired. So enable and research on laser crystallography energy booster unlocked. So that's cool. So we have to head over and talk to talk to this guy. Hello, near. I understand you are here on behalf of the Circle. We have an important message for you to pass on. The Circle must immediately seize hostile acts against the Kreen. Express surprise. The Circle claim it is the Kreen that are the aggressors. They pause for a moment. I admit it is a possibility. We know that a few Kreen have somehow broken the neural bonds connecting them with their Naveen pilots. These rogue crane have sometimes attacked our own vessels. Perhaps I can help? He looks at me. Yes, perhaps you can. The rogue crane appear to have bonded instead with a large alpha of the species. We have tried using neural interface to disable the alpha, but basically he wants us to go and take care of this creature. So I'm going to refuel. So, oh, it's just up here. Oh, I shift clicked him and it, my ship just automatically followed, I think. So I'll do a power shot. It's going to take me a while to pay attention to my shields and all that stuff. Oh wow, he's really hitting me. Oh, I took that out. Getting that second laser helps out a lot. Okay, we got him. So we'll just go in uh, let them know. We witnessed the assault with our scanners. We are very grateful for your assistance. Please explain the situation to the circle and pass on our peaceful intentions. So yeah, I do think uh, the developer, he's planned on doing... Uh, 
uh, more add in more uh, crafted missions for this game. Maybe uh, probably to take the story deeper or whatever. Because the missions are kind of they're pretty basic right now. But overall, it's a decent early access. I mean, some early access games are horrendous, but this one so far it's uh, pretty decent. Okay, so many thanks for your assistance with the Naveen situation. Please tell Commander Devos that we'll be happy to discuss a defensive alliance. Okay, so let's jump back. I'll end the episode after we talk to this guy. Because it's, it's good to get a little glimpse into this game, see what it's like. I'm really interested in seeing uh, the progress in this game. So let's talk to Commander Devos. More credit, more experience. Yeah, you have performed well. A meeting with the Circle to discuss defensive arrangements is now scheduled. Given your obvious talents, we would like to offer you a special, highly independent role within Omega. You may use your initiative to explore the sectors of this ruined solar system. I trust that in each one you will find friends or allies that will offer specific missions. You should select those missions that are most likely to lead our order to economic or military dominance, allowing us to shape the future of humanity. Okay, sounds good. So yeah, I guess you can like kind of make friends with, with other factions, but you know, eventually like they could be your enemies too. And once I get start getting deeper, uh, like one time I went to one of these red ones. So I guess the Union, or, yeah, it's hostile territory. So I have to probably just do missions in around here, probably uh, do some trade missions. I'll find out where they sell. I, I don't think they sell iron cheap here. It's medium priced. But I'll find like a cheap place for iron and come back to Lorca and sell all the iron there. Get a bunch of money and then head out. So anyways guys, uh, let me know what you think about the game. And I might make a few episodes of this game. We'll see what it's like. But anyways guys, we'll see you on the next episode.